Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this one is on witches and how to funnel these guys into the base. Now, some of them you don't want to funnel inside the base. That's part of some attacks that they go around the outside. But let's talk about just witches in general in terms of their pathing, what they're gonna do, how they behave, and when you do want the witches to go into the base, how to make that happen. We'll take a look at some attacks in a few moments, but first, we're gonna start out here in Udoodle talking about a few different concepts. And first, we gotta remember a few things. Witches have a range of two tiles beyond a wall. That means they can target this building, they can target this building, and they can target that building over the wall. This is reserved for the Archer Queen. Um, the bowlers, archers, wizards, they can target this. So we'll put a E here for everything else pretty much. There's kind of an E. And right here we'll put a W for Witch. Right here we'll put an A for Archer Queen. Those are the maximum uh, ranges of those troops. And I don't think there's anything that can just reach over one tile. Um, and it spells out awesome, so that's a way you can remember it. Just kidding, that won't help you at all. But um, I just noticed that it does. So anyway, that's the range of Witches. And also, um, if you want to know about bowlers and bowler pathing, I'll link my bowler funneling video in the description below. Very similar to this one, talking about how to funnel bowlers into the base, because that is something that's very important on a lot of different attacks at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. But talking about Witches, another reason they're so difficult to funnel is not just because of this range, they can pull them in weird places, but they're very slow and they stop to spawn skeletons. So every 8-10 seconds, I don't know how long, it depends sometimes, um, they'll stop and spawn skeletons. They don't do it while they're walking. And that's kind of annoying because it takes even longer for them to move and they do like no damage so they can't funnel themselves really. Um, something else has to take out buildings to funnel them. So they're a very tricky troop. Let's talk a little bit about them though. Oftentimes you want them going in on the side of a base. It's rare that you send witches in on the corner. Um, typically the way the attacks work, you're coming in on the side. So let's say you're going to wall breaker in right where the red bomb is. That signifies the wall breaker. X or the uh, black air mine is where you're dropping your troops. So those are the two labels there. You can't drop them right there. Of course, you have to drop them back here um, beyond the buildings. So that's where you're dropping your troops in reds, the wall breaker. Um, taking a look at this base here, just or this piece of a base, how would you funnel your witches in so they you know, go in here, they take a jump, and they just go through the base as you would want them to um, in some circumstances? A little bit tricky. We have to talk about layers again. Go back and watch my bowler video because it's a lot more in-depth and the same principles apply. So once again, that'll help you. But basically, this is the first layer, this is the second layer, this is the third layer. You have to take out the first layer buildings like these as if you're funneling you know, Valks or anything that doesn't even have any range. Have to funnel those. Then also the second layer you have to funnel as well. You have to take out probably these two buildings, these two buildings. Now with everything, there are trade-offs. You cannot take them out. You take a bit of a risk, but that you know won't have to spend as much troop space. Especially this building is very hard to get, but keep in mind it is reachable by the witches. The fear is if you don't take out those buildings, the witches will walk over here, target them, then continue off to that side. Walk over here, target, continue off to that side. So typically, if you can, you want to funnel both layers. Now, if you if you can't do that, you can at least try to get this building and maybe this building. So if the witches like come up and stand right here to target the storage, they will eventually try to maybe come back around in here if you take out more stuff farther out. So you kind of got to plan it out. It's a little bit tricky. Um, do your best there. The ultimate goal is to get them to have their next target be a third layer. If they target a third layer, it means they're inside the base by definition. They have to be standing here. Your job's done. But to get them to target a third layer, oftentimes you have to take out all of this stuff over here. So when you drop them back here, their next closest target is here. Another, another trick you can do is leave some buildings here to draw them closer. That way they're already closer to these. You don't have to funnel as far out in each direction because the distance between the witches and the third layer back here will already be less if you get them to step up to take out, let's say, the second layer. So don't clear stuff out too much. Leave a trail. Um, another thing you can do, which is kind of a tricky thing to do, but if the base is not completely flat in terms of walls, if you want a wall breaker in right here, instead of dropping them back and having them go straight, you can uh, take stuff out like that, that, 
um, if you can, that might be kind of tricky, but do your best to take some of that stuff out. Send them in at an angle. If you can funnel one side really well, you can send them in offset to that side. That way you don't have to take out these buildings if they're hard to get. Just take out these. As soon as they step up for this gold storage, the next closest building is going to be to walk in here and target the uh, um, expo instead of walking all the way over here to target one of these two buildings. If you can make it kind of a shortcut for them, they will go inside the base. So that's called like the offset drop. It can work on a flat base as well if you can funnel one side really well. Even if the wall continued like that, if you can funnel this stuff really, really well, you can drop your witches here so they'll come at an angle. That way um, they're already close to the third layer, um, similar to what I was talking about up here, leaving the uh, breadcrumbs they can just go straight into the base um, because you take out these and the second layer is too far away, they're offset. That can avoid second layer funneling to help you a little bit. So anyway, that's the basics. A um, little bit messy here, but let's, we'll go ahead and take a look at a few attacks that should illustrate some concepts and give some more um, meaning to what I just said. So let's take a look at some of those attacks. So we actually only have one attack to take a look at. My bad on that. Probably should have gotten a few more. But it illustrates the concept pretty well. I think this is my, all you guys probably need just to see it once. And you'll see on most attacks, not all, but the high majority of attacks are going to use witches and bowlers to funnel on the corners. So you might be wondering to yourself, okay, why did I just watch the first four or five, however long the first part of the video was, why did I just watch all that if I'm just dropping, you know, four bowlers, four witches on each side to create the funnel? And the, the thing is, that's not exactly how it works. You have to pre-plan what buildings are going to be taken out by the corners that I drop, because like I said, witches can't funnel themselves. They don't do enough damage to take out the second layer. They need bowlers with them to be able to shoot over the wall and take out stuff in the second layer so your main groups, witches and bowlers really, uh, your main group that's going into the base doesn't get pulled to the side. The skeletons of the witch won't go through the wall, so all the witch has is her projectile. She cannot funnel herself, um, meaning you can't drop witches on the outside to funnel your main group of witches in. You have to drop a few bowlers. You have to drop them strategically to take out the second layer. So it's important that even if the attack looks like, okay, it just kind of drop one group in the corner, one group in the corner, they'll funnel your main group. It doesn't really work that way. You have to take a look at what uh, buildings are going to be taken out specifically and by doing that you can kind of see okay the first and the second layer have to go down in order to, for my main group to get in there and target the third layer. Um, so let's take a look at the attack and it'll make a little bit more sense. This is Pendragon, fast forward to the start here, um, drops a few minions but you'll see in just a moment he'll come in with the uh, the troops on each corner uh, drops two witches on the first corner and I think the same on the top corner. The giant to tank and the bowlers, but this is all very strategic because ahead of time he's thinking which, which buildings do I need to get taken out and watch how they all go down uh, the correct way. So I'll go ahead and pause it right here. You can see he's starting to get this taken out. That's a key building. It's going to keep his troops from walking. The key second layer building there. This cannon actually right there is also key. This one a little bit farther away from his jump. His jump's over here. So this one not as important. And I think he doesn't quite get it down, unfortunately. An extra bowler or two would have gotten it. So probably should have been a little bit safer there. But he gets the important stuff. Of course he gets the first layer. You know, you got to get the first layer. That's a no-brainer. Everyone knows that intuitively. But the second layer is what people often don't do. That's what you have to get taken out. That's why you're dropping your troops on the corners so they can still reach the... Uh, the buildings that are there and there in that second layer. Okay, so anyway, uh, you can see the witches, everything stepping up uh, in the main group there. And just a moment, that bowler almost gets the uh, the cannon right here. That's the one building that would have made this easier. But once again, that's about to go down. Pretty much everything's been taken out. The most uh, re relative to these troops right here, the closest thing is that third layer we talked about. The Teslas, the, uh, the cannon... Cannon's a key building there, the Inferno Tower. That's what's going to pull his troops in. Also helps with the defensive queen is there to aggro. And from there, he's golden. Of course, he wants his funneling troops to continue to move around the outside of the base, which they do. The bottom group, not as much. Only a few witches down there. But the top group does a good job uh, kind of clearing out the... Uh, the outside of the base as his main group uh, moves through the uh, the center. 
It's a dip attack, of course, but the principles are the same. You want to get those corners taken out, and you want to uh, make sure that the second layer is down in addition to the first layer, something I talked about a lot in my bowler video, but I think it needs to be re reiterated because um, it has been, I don't know, maybe six months since I've made my bowler funneling video. Um, one, one more time, that will be in the description. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. It's a very long video, but it's very comprehensive. goes into very um, detailed explanations of all the layers, concepts, and all that kind of stuff. So you can check that out uh, below. And I hope this video helped, which is um, or sometimes meant to go to the outside. But uh, like bowlers, you do want some going inside the base. you got to identify that they are slower. They do pause to spawn skeletons. And they have a bigger range than bowlers. All things that make them harder to funnel. So you got to be even more diligent in how you create the funnel. And even though some of these attacks look a little bit spammy, um, people are planning out uh, the corners and what buildings have to get taken out in order for it to be successful. So good attack to Pendragon. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.